Yeah, it really is, Jasmine. All of us put together our hurricane kits and our emergency plans, hoping we won't ever need to use them. In fact, it has been 61 years since the Bay Area suffered catastrophic flooding from a hurricane. Shortly after that, the Army Corps of Engineers built the Tampa Bypass Canal System. It's been so successful in keeping us safe since then, most of us don't even know what it is or that we even have it. So I set out to go see for myself what it is all about and how it keeps us safe during hurricane season. So this dry season kind of gets you guys ready for what's ahead. Correct. Yep, it's our it's our opportunity to, to do our repairs, improvements. Jerry Malums and I met at the very end of the 15.7 mile Tampa Bypass Canal this week to see the thing that most Bay Area residents have no idea exists. And that is the way Malums likes it. It means the five flood control structures built after Hurricane Donna are doing their job in Hillsborough County. Army Corps of Engineers designed this project and built this project to protect the cities of Tampa and Temple Terrace from river flooding and another event like Hurricane Donna. Hurricane Donna slashes up from the Caribbean into Florida. In 1960, Donna's rains flooded the Bay Area like we haven't seen before or since. Nicknamed Deadly Donna, it dumped 27 inches of rain, caused 13 deaths, and wiped out large swaths of Florida's citrus industry. 1959, the year before, was, was one of the wettest years on record. And then Donna occurred in September, which was well into the rainy season. So the conditions, all the lakes were full, all the wetlands were full, and the soil was very saturated. So everything Donna brought us created flooding. That created what we now call the Tampa Bypass Canal. When heavy floodwaters come our way, the diversion of the Hillsborough River starts where the river intersects at Interstate 75. And at that point in time, the, the, the upper portion of the Hillsborough River is diverted into the canal and it's 14 miles to where we stand here and then another three miles out to McKay Bay. Five dams located within that 14 miles controls the flow. This small 8 by 10 structure used to be the room where engineers would monitor the water and control the dams. Now it is all done remotely on a laptop, bringing the system into the 21st century. The last time it was put to the test was Hurricane Irma, and even at that point, Malums says it only needed to run at 50 percent with zero issues. It's ready to protect the, the region in the case of a, a major hurricane.